This meeting is being recorded. Hi, this is Anne with a quick anagram on this week's house drawing code. I'd like to point out some things about the code and about the IDE and browser and how you can interact with the code in the browser that may be helpful. So um, just to get started, we have the standard HTML file, which brings in the code for the house object and the code that uses that to actually draw on the canvas. We have house, which is an object which can draw itself on the canvas. And I'm hoping that all of you know that there's this outline tab over here. And one of the things that the outline does is tell you what the various methods in this class are. And so we can see that there's set context, set color, set location. But you can see, as the slides point out, that the set size method is missing. Um, what's a little different about this class because it's compound is that the draw method down here actually draws based on a cup on four other methods to draw the frame, draw the door, draw the window, and draw the roof. And also, it has this nice feature that was supposed to be in last week's classes and got um, missed, which is if there is no context, it logs an error and lets you know that you've forgotten to set the context. So that's going to be kind of handy. Um, this has primarily uh, familiar shapes in it, although in this case the roof is a triangle, which is done by drawing from each of the points to the next. So that's a little different. You may want to take a look at that. And here we have the code that actually draws on the canvas. This should be entirely unsurprising for the first part. And um, the only thing that's a little different about house is because the house has different parts to it. It has multiple colors you can set. And the way we're handling that is by creating these um, object identifiers, static objects that just have a property and then say what color that property is going to be. Uh, there are a couple odd things in the IDE. Um, one is that, um, I'm sure you've noticed this by now, in the, this class, the IDE doesn't recognize that house is being drawn in in the HTML, and so it says house is not defined, but in fact the code works fine when the HTML file draw, pulls in the house, house object first. And the other thing is, I think because window is often used um, as a meaning the window in which the browser is working, window for some reason in this uh, object is getting a yellow color. Just ignore that. In fact, um, it, this should be working just fine. So I'm going to um, run this and um, take a look at what we get. Open this up. And we get the two houses being drawn. But one of the things that I think um, some of you don't know how to do yet is interact with your code in the browser. So I'd like to show that. So if I open Inspect and I go to the console, I can see the messages that my code wrote out to the console log when it ran. But at this point, the script is done running but is still loaded into memory. So one of the things you can do is inspect values. So for example, if I, um, I've got an H1 object and an H2 object, if I just type in H1, and actually for some reason, at least in Chrome, I have to ent hit enter twice, I get the all the properties of the house object are right here. And that includes the corner, which defines the location, and things like roof color, window color, and all of that. Now, one of the neat things about um, objects is because objects have behavior, you can actually drive them from right here in the console. So for example, um, if I want to change the location of H1, I can ask it to please change 
from the 100, 100 location to say 200, 150. Okay, and then I can ask it to redraw itself. And voila, we haven't cleaned off the canvas, so you're still seeing the old drawing, but you're seeing the new location. Uh, for example, I could change here in the in the browser. I could change the color property directly. So, for example, if I wanted to change H one's roof color, I can change it to red, and then I ask H one to draw itself again and I end up with an H1 in the new location being drawn. So it's being drawn basically on top of itself. So any of the methods in this thing can be drawn. Um, I suppose if I change H1's roof color again, I think I can call H1 draw roof directly and just redraw that one little bit. But in general, what I want you to be doing is using the draw method directly. That's all for this time.